Alright, hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to the Nosy Librarian Tag. Uh, I said that in a weird way, I don't know, I forgot what my usual intro is. So anyway, I was tagged to do this by Todd the Librarian, this was created by a Strip Cover Lit. There are ten questions, I'm going to answer those questions and then tag some people at the end, so straight into it. Question number one. What has been the most influential library in your life? So for me, I think that's probably been National Library of Latvia. Um, just because I visited it last year uh, whilst in Latvia to kind of get to know more about Latvian authors and the Latvian publishing scene. I got to go behind the scenes a little bit. I even uh, sent a copy of one of my books to be like placed there and there. They have something called the People's Bookshelf where people can submit their books. So uh, yeah, that's what sprung to mind. Question number two, honest assessment. What will they title your biography? So I'm kind of writing my memoirs at the moment and I don't really have a title for it. So my working title was uh, My Life in Books. Somebody suggested, because uh, it's basically a biblio memoir, it's, it's like my life told through books basically. So the subtitle would be a biblio memoir. So I don't know, I'm probably not gonna go with My Life in Books though. There's also, my book blog is called socialbookshelves.com, so it might be Social Bookshelves, My Life in Books. We'll see. Question number three, the story from your life that you most hope your librarian never finds out. So there are quite a lot of these, and I don't really wanna talk about any of them, so I'm not going to. Question number four, what is your favorite word? Probably fuck, just because it's so versatile, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have a favourite word. Question number five. Three weird things of which you are afraid and one, which, one way which you would prefer not to die. So the three things of which I'm afraid are death, failure and mirrors. Specifically in mirrors I get scared I'm going to see something that isn't there. Uh, and th how I wouldn't like to die is just slowly. You know? In, slowly and in pain. Question number six. Your favourite book as a grade schooler. I don't really know what a grade schooler is. If that's similar to like the first half of our primary school maybe here in the UK, uh, so then it would be The Hungry Caterpillar, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Question number seven, what have your interactions with the police been like? Um, not that bad, not that bad. They could have been worse. Um, I mean, there was one night I got picked up by police in Birmingham and in Tamworth. It was my dad's stag do and I got very drunk. And then, yeah, so the police picked me up in Birmingham because I was just staggering around the streets. And then I f they finally found my dad. And then I got back to my dad's and by this point I'd sobered up a bit. And was walking home from my dad's. But I had blood on my chin because I'd fallen over because I was drunk. And there'd been a fight in the area so they picked me up and asked me questions about that as well. And then I didn't want them to wake my mum up so I got them to drop me off at my dad's again. And then just walked back the way I'd came. But, uh, yeah, I mean... They've not, they've not been either positive or negative, really. They're doing their job. Question number eight. All-time favourite book cover. For this one, I'm just drawing a blank because, I mean, I have thousands of books. I don't, and I don't really care about covers either. I'd, like, sometimes, sometimes they draw me in, yeah. But then I think it's still the kind of the premise and the synopsis that actually makes me decide whether to buy it or not. So, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Just because it's next to me, we'll, we'll hold this up. Ray Bradbury, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Shout out to Graham Quigley, who I'm buddy reading this with. Question number nine, how many places have you lived? So when I was during my third year at uni, I realized I'd lived on average in more than one different house per year. So like that was how often I was moving, more than once per year. But mostly throughout the Midlands, in Tamworth, I lived in Burton for a little bit, uh, Faisley, uh, Dostill. All, all around the Midlands, and then um, and then, then I went to university in London, so I lived in Roehampton for a little bit, and now I live in High Wycombe. Question number 10. Tag 11 booktubers that you like and or admire, and why do you like and or admire them? And compliment strip cover lit. Well, the compliment would be that this is, a, a, you know, an interesting question. <laughs> And for, for the people I'm going to shout out, I don't think I'm going to do that because I've been, I'm, to be honest, I'm struggling to do shout outs because I've been doing so many shout outs recently to, to catch myself up. So I've, I've just filmed 40 shout outs and I'm planning my next 10. However, I'm going to tag some people. I'm going to tag Todd the Librarian, Jason's Weird Reads, Woman vs. Books, 
uh, Richardson Reads and Charles Heathcote. I don't know who's done it or not, but uh, yeah. And if I haven't tagged you, but you'd like to do it, also go ahead and do it. So on that note, there we have it. That was my take on the Nosy Librarian book tag. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.